Father, I keep hearing people talk about intercoolers when they tune their cars. What even is an intercooler? Boina Galava Stewie. So let's start from the beginning. Your engine needs air to burn fuel, right? But instead of just sucking in regular air, a turbocharger or a supercharger forces more air into the engine. But when you compress the air like that, it gets hot due to something called thermodynamics. So now you've got all this hot air that's less dense, and less dense air doesn't carry as much oxygen, so your engine doesn't like that. That's where the intercooler comes in. The intercooler cools down that hot air before it enters the engine. After the turbo or supercharger compresses the air and heats it up, the hot air travels into the intercooler. The intercooler's job is to cool it down, making it denser and richer in oxygen. So the engine doesn't like hot air but loves cold air? Bingo, Quagmire. Cooler air is denser, meaning more oxygen, and that helps the engine burn fuel more efficiently. The hot air flows inside the intercooler, and the heat from the air gets transferred out to the outside air or to cool it, depending on the type of intercooler. How many intercoolers are there? Well, there are two main types. First, you've got the air-to-air -air intercooler, which is the most common. It uses ambient air, basically the air around your car, to cool down the compressed intake air. It's lightweight, simple, and reliable. And there's air-to-water intercooler. This one uses water channels to absorb the heat from the compressed air. And because it uses a separate coolant system, it doesn't rely on vehicle speed or outside air temperature. But it's a bit more complex and heavier than the air-to-air -air intercooler. Follow Tune Mechanic for daily car knowledge.